and welcome back to Tea Time with the Docs. Today we have a special guest. We have Dr. Emmanuel with us and we have Shinwa and myself. So Dr. Emmanuel, tell us a little bit about yourself. Very well. I'm uh, Emmanuel Tunias. I'm Dr. Tunias. I work here at Divino Nino Pediatrics as a pediatric cardiologist. Can you tell us what a pediatric cardiologist does? Certainly. A pediatric cardiologist makes sure that a child or a baby's heart works and beats perfectly. Having said that, as a father myself, I can sympathize and I can understand how a parent can feel when their doctor tells them, I hear something from your child's heart. And it can be very worrisome to the point that uh, most of us don't sleep at night until we know exactly what's going on. So tell us what are some of the reasons a pediatrician might refer their patient over to the pediatric cardiologist? Actually, my dear Divina, that's a very good question. There are many reasons why um, a doctor, a general pediatrician, can send a patient, can refer a patient to our practice. The uh, most common reason why a patient might come and see me would be a murmur, or soplo, as a lot of people know it in Spanish. And what is a murmur? A murmur is an extra sound that we hear when we place our stethoscope in order to listen to the sounds of the heart. Is a murmur always worrisome? It can be worrisome. It can be worrisome. There are different reasons why a child can have a murmur. There are murmurs that can be innocent and there are murmurs that can be pathologic and need further evaluation. What is an innocent murmur? An innocent murmur is a sound that is being produced as the blood is flowing through the chambers of the heart. An analogy would be when we are all next to a river, we hear the water come downstream. That sound as well can be produced as the blood is flowing through the chambers of the heart. So how do you tell the difference between an innocent murmur or a pathologic murmur? There are many ways that we can tell the difference and that con constitutes the evaluation that we do to every child mm -hmm. when they come to see me here in the cardiology clinic. Uh, first of all, we uh, examine the baby mm -hmm. or the, the child and uh, we evaluate the characteristics of the sound. Then we go forward with an electrocardiogram, checking the electrical activity of the heart, mm -hmm. as well as an echocardiogram, an ultrasound of the heart, where we evaluate the anatomy of the heart. What are some of the other reasons a pediatrician might refer their patient to see you? There are many reasons why a pediatrician will send patients to our office. Chest pain, palpitation, fainting, high blood pressure, obesity and cholesterol, or family history of heart disease are a few among the reasons why I see patients in our office. I will be happy to answer any questions or concerns that you might have. Please leave your questions or concerns in the comment section below. Thank you for joining us at Tea Time with the Docs. Bye!